Good evening, you two people. I'm out here uh, in my northern yard. I don't know whether it's my front yard or my backyard. <laughs> I'm so scatterbrained here lately that uh, uh, you've heard about that man, whether he doesn't know whether he's coming or going. That's kind of the way I've been all summer long. Anyway, I just wanted to touch base with you and uh, let you know I've not given up on my channel. Uh, I haven't given up on you. I love connecting with you guys and uh, those that are still sus subscribed and uh, willing to watch the things that I put up. Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, a lot of those things, uh, some of them aren't really silly like uh, the fire videos or the tree videos, whatever the case might be. Uh, they mean a lot to me as well. It's part of my life. Uh, but it's not uh, the most important part of my life. I guess what I want to say tonight is how much I, I want to share with you how I felt about what happened last Monday. Uh, and today is the 26th of August, I guess. So last Monday would have been the 22nd, and uh, right here in Loman, Idaho, we were in the path of totality, very much near the center of the path of totality of the Great American Eclipse, they called it. <laughs> well, it was wonderful. standing here in a special spot. It's by my tomato plants and tomato plants are special to me as well. So, <laughs> but, but we'll get to that in a moment. But I just want to share with you what God says about things like the eclipse. And he says it in uh, many places, of course, in the Bible, uh, how he glorifies himself. But he speaks it out in Psalms 19.1 very well. And he says, uh, David wrote this uh, psalm, and it says, The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament is handiwork, shows forth his handiwork. Uh, that, that word firmament, it always used to uh, get me before I was much of a Bible student at all, uh, because it just sounds like something that has to do with firmum, firm things. <laughs> That's not what it means at all. It means the clear expanse of the high, uh, the sky, the whole expanse of the sky. It declares God's glory. Well, boy, uh, the other day, it really declared God's glory. It was such a fantastic thing. It was only the moon physically going along in its path, and during the day, of course, but it came across the path of the sun and perfectly uh, covered it. <laughs> and uh, I, I don't believe anything other than the fact that it's in uh, the perfect relation to the sun and the earth that uh, it would show us this magnificence in this very special way. The eclipse was so special to me uh, because it does declare God's glory. It shows it forth out of the sky. Uh, it made me cry. It was absolutely fantastically beautiful, fantastically majestic, fantastically uh, to God's glory. Because I couldn't see anything other than God's glory in the manifestation of Him doing His work in the natural order. And that's what He did. I'll read you a few more verses here. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth forth His handiwork. Day and a day, and so it means every day, <laughs> uh, it uttereth speech, and night and a night showeth knowledge. The stars and the uh, sun out every day and every night is speaking to us. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. So all over the world and every person with every language understands that God's glory is being manifest. You walk outside on a clear night and you look up at the stars and you say, 
no accident, somebody placed those there. And you know what? I know the one who placed them there. And he wants to know you. Do you know him yet? I hope you do. And if you don't, that you'll get to know him. You know, uh, it says in Genesis uh, chapter 2, verse 7, I believe, that God breathed into man the breath of life. And that started him up. But you know what was in there? Uh, things like conscience. Uh, uh, conscience and uh, uh, the essence of your soul. But you know what else was in there? The innate, the inbred, the uh, inborn, the eternal desire to know God and to be known by God. And that thing that shows... Uh, that tells us that there's something more. There's something more. And the something more, of course, is our Creator. Anyway, their speech goes all over the world, and it tells, huh, there's no place where it's not heard. And their line has gone throughout all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. In them he set a tabernacle for the sun, in the firmament, and all the places all around he set a place for the sun to live. And that's where the sun lives. And he speaks about the glory of the sun being, which is as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber and rejoiceth as a strong man to run a race. Uh, and he does. He runs a race. He starts over there in the east and he comes across the sky and he is glorious and he is magnificent all the day. We don't worship the sun. We worship the one who created the sun. Amen? And his going forth is from the end of the heaven and his circuit unto the ends of it and there is nothing hid from the heat thereof. Uh, I've got some things I, I really want to do. <laughs> Besides, tend to store. One of the reasons I'm here uh, outside tonight, I just got back from tending the store. Uh, I have some pipe fittings and some things I'm going to jumble together and make a little cover for my tomato plants. I tell you, these tomato plants are fantastic. They show to me the glory of God. They show God's handiwork, His establishment of the natural order of things right here. Let me... Uh, take you off of that tripod for a minute and show you uh, what's going on. Now, I'll back up a little bit here. Uh, these aren't fantastic producers by any manner of means, but uh, things are coming along well. Like I said, it's the 26th day of August. Look back in there. <laughs> isn't it, uh, isn't it beautiful? <laughs> it is to me, I'll guarantee you. And, and it's not beautiful because it's anything I did. Uh, see these flowers? These little flowers? They're going to turn into tomatoes. It's beautiful because God <laughs> is showing forth His handiwork. It's just magnificent. You know, I'm going to have to pick some of these and eat them tonight. I don't have any lettuce or anything. I do have some carrots in there, but I'm just going to have to gorge myself on some tomatoes, I think. You know what? Uh, I used to have a place where the tomatoes grew a little better, but but God knows my heart, and uh, He's blessing me with this harvest. It's wonderful. It's just wonderful. But God declares His glory. Uh, you know, when I watched that, watched that uh, eclipse the other day, uh, I, I looked at it, and like I said, I started weeping with joy. Overjoyed about God's presence uh, in our lives and His manifestation, uh, Him holding up the natural order of things. Just so wonderful. And that's what he's doing here. Anyway, I guess I've rattled on long enough. I love you all. I'd, uh, I'd appreciate you uh, 
put in your comments uh, under this video and telling me how you felt about the eclipse. Uh, wasn't it just like a baby being born, only different? <laughs> the same manifestation of his natural order, right? A man and a woman come together and uh, a baby is born. And it's a, one of the most magnificent things as well. I, I don't know anybody that has ever seen a baby born or that can deny God. Because what do you see, uh, what do you say when the baby comes out of the womb? Praise God. Just like I'm saying over these tomatoes. Praise God. Uh, I hope to put up some good stuff for you in the coming months. Uh, I, I believe I'll have more time. I don't know that, but, but I hope to. So until next time, God bless you, and we'll see you soon.